Welcome back again. I'm Joel O'Loughlin, Managing Director of My Zambia, My Africa, and you're watching AIL TV Perspectives. Next year, 2018, is a very special year. There will be all the heads of the Commonwealth coming here to London, and I was really very fortunate to speak to Dr. Josephine Ojiambo. Uh, she's the Deputy Secretary General of the Commonwealth Secretariat. Let's hear what she has to say. My name is Dr. Josephine Ojiambo. I am Deputy Secretary General at the Commonwealth Secretariat based here in London. The countries within the Commonwealth constitute 52. There are 52 member states and a large block of member states in Africa, in particular in East and Southern Africa, where Zambia indeed is located. Zambia is a trusted and special member of the Commonwealth fraternity. The relationship goes back many years and we are delighted to be here celebrating the Independence Day, I think 53rd Independence Day of Zambia, just to show you how long the association has been. But more than that, we continue to work with Zambia on a number of social, economic and political priorities. Maybe if I could paraphrase it, the Commonwealth has two major thrusts, one on governance and peace, and one on social, economic and sustainable development. Under Governance and Peace, His Excellency Chiko Onde spoke this evening or this afternoon about the work done by the Secretary General of the Commonwealth on the issue of social cohesion not too long ago. And together with Zambia, the international community celebrates um, the role played by His Excellency President Lungu in uh, moving the country forward towards greater social cohesion by working with the opposition leader and others to restore peace and harmony. And we're delighted we see this as a way forward for greater democratic dispensation in Zambia. We also do a lot of work around issues of legal frameworks. And you may be aware that the Commonwealth has put in place an Office of Civil and Criminal Justice Reform. And this office will be working with Zambia and other member states on legislative frameworks, on legal drafting, and now to make that a little more granular, on legal frameworks around trade and investment, which are important so that we can, in a manner of, say, of speaking, leapfrog forward in terms of international trade and development. We're looking to investments, investments in Zambia. We're looking to increasing trade both in and out of the country and also specifying what happens within trade, what you call trade competitiveness. We know that for the members of the Commonwealth, trade within the Commonwealth has a 19 to 20 percent advantage. So it's important that we look at the content of what we trade because we know within the Commonwealth, our members enjoy this benefit. But our move forward, the Commonwealth is also working on social economic programs. And under this is indeed the work that Zambia is doing under the leadership of the president to improve the lot of women, to enhance and empower women. So we look at women's empowerment both as a human rights issue, we look at it from legal frameworks and indeed the Commonwealth is about to launch a toolkit on how the courts of law can support matters that relate to women. We also look at educating women, particularly the girl child, and in that regard, your president and several of the leadership of the country in Zambia up to the grassroots chiefs are working on ending early and forced marriage. This is very important for we all know that the more education the girl child has, the better off she is, her family is, the community is, and the nation at large will be. So this is something that we want to commend Zambia for. But there's more than that. We're also working on climate change as an issue. We all know that Africa has been ravaged by the problems of land use when not put to the best use, drought and desertification. So as a result, we are looking at how we can alleviate the issues of uh, insecurity of food at community and domestic level but more specifically addressing it through climate action. The Commonwealth has teams on board that give technical assistance to governments so that they can write proposals and bid for the international pool of money 
that governments are drawing down on to address their challenges around climate and environmental management. So this is the interface that we are providing. There's much more, but I think with that you have a snapshot of the things that we are doing that relate to Zambia. We actually have a special program outreach on innovation, and for us at the Commonwealth, this is around IT. As you know, in many of our sub-Saharan countries, now the handheld mobile device has become not only a modality for communication, but to do business and to transact finance. Um, you probably have heard of Kenya's M-Pesa. Mm -hmm. We're looking at putting in place models such as that, not just for the transfer of money, but also to support peripheral health workers to make an early diagnosis and get a patient effectively to the first line of care. It's also used very often for social health insurance and national health insurance schemes. We're also using, of course, desktops and other mobile and desk-based devices to educate children. So we are looking to making sure that children have the access that they require to the internet so they can learn about the world and, of course, therefore improve the economy. We want to ask that you begin at the most user-friendly level and continue to grow. Um, mobile devices are used also to crowdsource information. They've been used at election time to monitor hotspots and to ensure that data is collected in the right way. Mobile devices are also being used now um, to monitor climate, to monitor adverse weather, and to give us information ahead of time so that we can make the requisite um, interventions possible. One of the things that the Commonwealth is doing, which is, uh, should I say, a flagship, is our work in cyberspace. We are working with cryptocurrency and ensuring that where it's not possible to utilize a bank to transact money, that diaspora such as yourselves can use cryptocurrency to send money home to those people who require your support. In this manner, you also address the livelihoods of your people. More than that, we're also working in the cyberspace to address the issue of countering radicalism and violent extremism and looking at putting in place legal frameworks that will help us navigate very sensibly the cyberspace to ensure that the messages going out do not convert our youngsters in particular to radicals who then are open to acts of extremism. So there's a lot going on in technology at the Commonwealth and we will continue to engage with Zambia on these and others.